Hello and welcome to a Corel video tutorial showing the newly released PaintShop Pro Photo X3. Today we'll be covering the newly improved Express Lab. Launched with just a click of the mouse in the organizer, the Express Lab provides a faster way to perform common editing tasks, enabling users to scroll through their photos, make quick fixes, apply effects, and delete pictures that didn't turn out. An instant preview offers a quick look at any changes. The Express Lab gives photo enthusiasts instant access to the most frequently used tools and quick fixes for the most common problems, such as straightening, smart photo fix, tone mapping, color balancing, contrast and brightness, makeovers, cloning, red eye removal, noise removal, and applying star ratings to your photos. Let's try these. I'm going to start by control clicking the photos I want to edit here in my organizer, and then clicking the Express Lab tab at the top. Just like that, we're in our lab with all kinds of great quick fix tools to use in a nice, uncluttered, convenient working space. This Dragon Wings can help us show off the Sharpen tool. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the effect better and simply click the Sharpen icon. Notice the improvements? Here, let me undo it and redo. Excellent. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is perfect to use a straighten tool on and one of my favorite things to show. Click on the straighten tool and guide the path here along the line that needs to be straight. You can use a door frame, a window frame, the side of a building like so. Make sure you have crop image selected. Let me deselect it and show you what the difference would be. It straightened our photo, but it's only straightened the photo and not the canvas. Then have to use the cropping tool to try and eyeball this without losing too many pixels or leaving behind some of the canvas. So let me undo, click crop image and apply. And now we have a perfect image. I can show off several makeover tools with this one. So let me zoom in a little bit. Then choose the makeover tools and start with the blemish fixer. Now I can use the alt key to adjust the size. Now this is similar to the cloning tool but what I want to do is replace the blemish with the best choice and that best choice happens to be the area right around the blemish. So what's going to happen is the outer circle material is going to replace what's in the inner circle and I just click once like so and keep on going. Isn't this great? Fantastic. You notice we also have a toothbrush. Adjust the strength with a slider here and simply click on the tooth. <laughs> that is too good. And yes, we have a suntan brush. Great for touching up those wedding photos. It's really just a paintbrush. So you kind of need to be careful of what you get it on as you can see there. Let's try something else. Let's go to our dog over here and apply the Finify tool. I'd rather do this tool on a pet because a pet really doesn't mind what I'm doing to it. What this does, it keeps the photo the same size but wherever I click it will pull in pixels from both sides and make it thinner. Let's redo that. Let's actually up the strength a little bit. Make it really thin. And there you go. He's lost some pounds. All right, this wedding photo is good to show off the one-step noise removal and the color balancing tool. So I've clicked on the one-step noise removal. It's going through the process. Wait a couple seconds and the job is done. I'll undo it again so you can see the difference. It's huge. Now I'll apply the color balancing. The color balancing is good for images that are either too warm looking, such as this photo here, or too cool looking, too much in the blue range. Both of these imperfections are very common in low light situations and when using digital cameras. There, that is much better. Watch how I can use the clone brush on this one. A clone tool takes part of an image from one place and uses it to replace part of something else in the photo. Again, I resize it using the Alt key, then right click where I want the source to be and then I start painting where I want that source to go to. And there you have it. 
tandem seagulls. I'll first use a quick fix on this cruise ship and the skyline photo. Then I'm going to ask it to actually suggest the appropriate settings for me. But as you can see, I can make individual adjustments if I like. Then I'm going to use the tone mapping tool. Tone mapping increases the dynamic range in a photo, drawing in more detail out of image areas and, as we can see here, decreasing the haze. Like that? Okay, now it's your turn to try the Expanded Express Lab. See how much better you too can improve your photos with just a few clicks of the mouse. Have fun, and we'll see you next time.